So, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna make a custom boot. We have done it a few times before. I'm just gonna pull up um, the old ones that we've done before. So here is a boot that Blake made um, and it's just got all loads of different aspects and it's just a custom boot using different bits of um, Adidas boots, Nike boots. And so in this video, I'm gonna go through all the different parts of boots and I want you guys to um, tell me what should be included and what shouldn't be included in the boot that we make and then I'll make it at the end. Um, and you guys can help me out with the colors, the logos, the technology, sole plate, the laces. First thing we're gonna talk about is the sole plate of the football boots. All right, so three options and you guys can just throw in the chat what you want. Do you want A, the control frame that you'll see in the likes of the, um, the Predators? like the Adidas control frame. Do you want to go with B, the split foot, which is what you're seeing on the Superflies, the Mercurials, the Vapors, um, also on the Nemesis. And potentially, I think we're going to see it in the 2020 edition of the um, Adidas Predators as well. And then the third option is the Hyper Reactive. So you see that on the um, Nike Venoms. Yeah? Okay, whoa. I'm thinking B. Seems like you guys are going pretty heavy on the B. The next question is, what type of studs do you want to see on your boots? Do you want a combination kind of sole plate? Do you want conical, which is like the circular studs? I'm trying to see what we got here. I've got some conicals here. Um, even these old school, well I say old school, hyper venoms. All right, or do you want to go with something more like the chevrons? that you see like here. Chevrons are designed for a bit more speed, a um, bit more straight line speed. Conical's good for twists and turns. And a combination, obviously, you're gonna get a bit of the best of both. So, say combination, conical, chevrons. All right, I'm looking C for chevrons. It seems to be the way everybody's going. All right, now this is a big question, guys. A big question for you. Are we gonna go with a laceless boot, a boot with laces, or a boot with a lace cover? Yeah? So, I want you to comment laceless, laces, or lace cover. Three different options there. So, you've obviously got Adidas with their new encryption pack. All whole bunch of um, laceless options there. But if you go laceless, it doesn't necessarily give you as much lockdown as you would get as if you had a boot that has laces and you can customize that fit. All right, so, the other option is to go with standard laces. We can do that. Yeah, so option B is just to have laces. William, you can get a shout out, hello. Um, the third option is the lace cover. So you can get something like the Hyper Venom, um, Hyper Venom, the Phantom Venom, with a little bit of a lace cover here, or the Phantom Visions with that complete lace cover. So let's just go back a second. I'm asking the question, guys. Are we going laceless, laces, or with a lace cover? Laces, 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 whoa, it's, this is seriously close. Lace cover, lace cover, lace cover. I think we're going lace cover. All right, the lace cover's finally stormed through the tongue on the boots. So three different options. You've got a separate tongue, yeah? So the tongue is not connected on either side. We can go separate tongue. Yeah, same as what you get on um, these, all right? You can go with the burrito tongue, which is where it's connected on one side, but not the other. Or we can go for an integrated tongue, which is what a lot of boots are starting to do, where it's just completely connected, yeah, on both sides. And it gives you a much tighter fit. And that seems to be the way boots are going. But is that the right way? Is it the way that you guys want to go? All right, I'm seeing integrated, burrito. All right, A, C, 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 burrito, integrated, integrated. We are going to go with C, integrated. You guys have made your mind up. We're going C, integrated. So that's what we're doing integrated. All right, what do you want to see with the upper material? Do we want to see K leather? Yeah, nice soft K leather. Do we want to go with the fly net? Yeah, so that's the way that Nike make their upper construction on most of their boots nowadays. You've got fly net on these two. All right, or do we want to go with prime net? So um, the Adidas upper technology. So the question is K leather, fly knit, or prime knit? All right, this one, it seems like it's pretty 
easy to work out that everybody is going, well not everybody, but almost everybody is kind of shouting fly net. All right, so we're gonna go fly net. Do we put a collar on these? Are we gonna have big high collar? Are we gonna have a low collar? Or are we gonna have no collar at all? Here's the high collar that you can see. Now, interestingly, I'm also hearing that the 2020 Predators might be available in a lower collar version. So we'll look out and see that next season or next year at least. Then we've got these, which are um, the kind of slightly lower collar that you're seeing nowadays on the Superflies. Or we can go no collar at all. All right, we are going to go with, we're gonna go B, low collar, I think, from what I can see. You've got different types of soul plates. You can get those with a, like a kind of chromey feel to them, or you can get something with like a matte finish. Yeah? So the chromey ones, Obviously shine a lot, but the problem with these is it will flake off when you play. It doesn't last forever, it always starts to kind of crack off. One with a matte finish like this, it will obviously stay there forever, but it doesn't look so good to start off with. Yeah? So the question, why, what, do you want to, what do you want to do with the soul plate? Do you want to go with a chrome finish? Or do you want to go with just like a matte finish? Alright, there's a lot of bees, there's a lot of chromes, so I think we're going to have to go with that you guys yeah chrome is the way that we're going for that all right chrome now what kind of logos do you want to see on this boot do you want to see any logos do you want me to come take all the logos off do you want to see the nike logos do you want to see the nike swoosh do you want to see the older school kind of um the nike logo with the nike on it do you want to see Adidas logos? Do you want to see the three stripes? Do you want to see Puma logos? Do you want to see the Puma Power Cat? Do you want to see the Puma Form Stripe? Or do you want to see like the Mizuno Runbird on it? What kind of logos do you want on it? Do you want me to put um, the Football Boots logo on it? Do you want something like that? Let me know what you're thinking logos wise. What do you want to see with those on this booth? Fritvi wants to see the Football Boots channel logo on there. All right, Nike. Nike original. Okay, we are gonna go with Nike and potentially a small Football Boots logo on there as well, just to give it our own little touch. All right, so let's move on. What else we got? We gotta talk colors. What color do you guys wanna see on the boots? Here we go. All right, so we're gonna change the color of these. Talk to me about what we're thinking. Purple, I'm seeing. Purple and gold. I like the sound of purple and gold. It's a bit out there, isn't it? All right, we're going to go purple and gold. I think the people have spoken. What I'm going to do is remove everything but the lace cover on this. Because I don't need the rest of it. So we're going to take the rest of it out. Sound